Hey guys, thanks for tuning into my video. And uh, today I am just taking a look at the Springfield XDS 45 ACP with their 3.3 inch burl. And uh, I'm just going to do a slight review here, not of the gun itself. We know it's an accurate gun, it's a good gun. But in a shit hits the fan uh, home defense scenario, would this be a good gun to have? Um, let's start out by uh, taking a look at the gun. The gun is very uh, lightweight. The nice thing about this gun, it has two safeties. One here and has the, your triple call Glock trigger safety. You have to depress the uh, grip safety and this in order to fire that gun, which is really nice. Takedown of the gun is super easy. It's similar to a SIG, but you go up and set it down. Got that. Press it off. Uh, it does have stainless steel components in here. Uh, no plastic. Very nice gun. And there's some of the internal components. Very easy to put back together. You go back, put the slide on, drop it down, bink, you're together. Okay, real easy to gun. Does have a chamber, in, a loaded chamber indicator there. Comes with fiber optic sights. These are not night sights. Okay, but uh, you can probably get them. It's really meant for an EDC concealed carry gun. It's very small, very accurate, very light. Uh, in a home defense, shit hits the fan. Well, you're going to size. I think you're going down a little too small. And the thing is, the capacity is five rounds on this. Okay. And you can get a seven round magazine, which I do have, which brings it out about this far here. But uh, you're getting two more rounds and one in the chamber eight or five with one in the chamber six. It does take the 45 ACP, which is a very effective bullet, one of the best. Uh, but for the bang for the buck, what you're getting here, the gun is very light. Yeah, I would say it weighs about what a what a uh, 21C or a 20C weighs, about the same weight. Uh, it's got a very heavy upper portion. Don't forget the uh, the Glocks have plastic guide rods with springs in them and stuff. A lot of plastic components in there. This is a lot more steel in it, and stainless steel the guide rod. Weigh, it weighs a lot. Uh, like I say, I've already addressed accuracy. It does have a, a little smidgen of a rail here for a tack light or a laser. Uh, I guess if you had a light on there or a laser, it would be nice. Uh, it's a nice carry gun. Uh, I don't know about shit hits the fan. Only gun to take. I think it would be uh, just a very low capacity. It would be a gun to take in addition. And that's why I say, uh, really, you, you have to see stick with one caliber. You know, uh, if you're going to do 45s, do 45s. And I, I'm a 45 person, so most of my guns are 45 ACP. You know, I've got a lot of them that are 45 because I just like that caliber. So the nice thing about it, you know, you'd have the ammunition, you'd have the guns. So you have to weigh that. But um, it, it does fail for capacity. So if I'm looking at this gun and comparing it, I would say as a home defense, should hits the fan, it'd have to be like a 7. Uh, just because uh, low capacity, 45 ACPs are heavy bullets, light gun, very, very small sight radius for a shooting. Uh, you know, it's, it's a good carry. Maybe you would carry this in addition to your, uh, your uh, other gun that you would have with you. Throw in the car, back of the car, because this, this is not too big. This is a pretty small gun. Uh, reliability, it's top 100%. It's a 10 uh, weight, it's a 10. Uh, you know, um, capacity, like I say, 6 or 7, because this is the lowest of all the guns we've talked about, uh, even the SIG. Uh, it's a small gun, don't forget, but uh, it is very, very low capacity. A lot of people, you know, they, they like to say 9 millimeters is good for them because it's high capacity, it's a light gun. And yeah, maybe in a shit hits the fan scenario, would be. I myself like the 5.7. If you have the 5.7 and about 3,000 rounds of ammunition, and maybe do two 5.7s, I think you'd be okay. Because they shoot very far, they're accurate, but like I say, the bullet, you know, there's a there's a way off of that bullet. And of course, uh, the 10 millimeters from Glock are light and they're kick-ass, so they're, they're kind of uh, leaning me towards that because it's a very powerful round and a very small package. But 
Uh, see what you think, and this is just one that, uh, eh, home defense, yeah, if you put a little light on it, it'd probably be okay as home defense, but I don't know about you hits the fan. Home defense, it's, it's probably a little marginal. There's not a lot of shots, uh, uh, and uh, we're going to move on to the bigger calibers now. We'll get a little bit ridiculous, so um, thanks a lot for watching, and feel free to make a comment on this. Okay, thanks a lot.